Now let's discuss about Telnet versus FTP versus HTTP. Right. So basically, Telnet is for connecting the system remotely, for connecting, for connecting. The systems remotely we use telnet as a protocol. We have already discussed about FTP and we have already discussed about HTTP, right? So so let differentiate them. Let's say, let me put here FTP and let me put Telnet here. Now, if I talk about FTP, then it is for downloading large files. Normally, it is used as for downloading larger file. And if I talk about Telnet, it is for connecting the system remotely. It is used for connecting the system remotely. Now, if I talk about FTP, normally port number 21 for control connection and port number 24 data connection used here. But in Telnet, port number 23 will be used. Port number 23 will be used in Telnet. Point number 3 will be for transmitting the file. FTP will be used for transmitting the file and in Telnet if I talk it will be normally used for chat operations for chat operations for chat operating systems you can say or for chatting purposes for chat operations. Now in FTP two kind of connections are there control connections as well as data connections whereas in telnet common single connection is there only only common single connection will be there so this is basically major differences between ftp and telnet now if we talk about ftp and http so you know that one thing is common between both of them that is both are synchronous protocol both are synchronous protocol that is close between both the devices should be synchronized right and one more common thing between both the protocol is that both are known store and forward technique both uses known store and forward technique with the help of mediating servers that is why they are called as stateless protocols right that is why they are called as stateless protocols